Mental health is at a crisis level for children in schools all over the country. That's according to the U.S. Surgeon General. Right here in the Tri-State's Alina West High School in Carthage, Illinois, is making their bid to ease the situation with mental health counseling, something that's new in the district this year. WGEM's Dylan Smith spoke with school officials. He joins me in the studio tonight. Dylan, what have the effects been of having this available to students? Well, Blake, school officials say it's worked out well enough to where they're doing what they can to bring it back next school year as well. Now, for teachers, it's a chance to prevent a crisis from happening. For students, a chance to get the help they need. I think it should be actually in every school. That's one teacher's opinion on how important it is to give students the resources they need to be successful. That was me too. Resources like Carrie Ann Seltzer, one of the two counselors that sees students at Illini West High School. It's not that. And how does that make you feel? It's very much a professional relationship. It's a social interaction. It's her job to help students with anxiety over stress to prevent a problem from becoming a crisis. I wish we had more time here. Um, two hours just doesn't cut it throughout the day um, because each half hour slot is typically taken up by a student. Sit with your friends, but I'm thinking... Carrie Buxman is one teacher that refers at least one student to counseling per week. She says the mental health game has changed over time. There's a lot more mental disorders now and um, then back when I started teaching and I think they were always there, but I think people are becoming a little bit more aware. Buxman refers students who struggle with behavior management. The school's principal says it's paying off. Students are uh, more aware of uh, the counseling that we have and so as we went through the school year uh, we had more students that uh, sought out uh, counseling and we had teachers that understood it too and they made more referrals. But concern lies ahead when school lets out because mental health doesn't end when school ends. If you feel like your kiddo or even as a kid you want to be able to talk to somebody please reach out to the local resources that we have. And 75 students have seen a counselor this school year for a total of 317 sessions. And a list of mental health resources in the Tri-States is on our website, WGEM.com. Dylan Smith, WGEM News. Dylan, thank you. Here's more on this story. Short says most of the referrals this year have come from the students themselves and teachers. In the last month or so, he says counselors have dealt more with students who were in a crisis or came to school already upset.